Have you ever wondered how they do it? Behind every great piece of art is a story, a person with experience, skills, and prized creative secrets. We've convinced some of Malta's most prominent contemporary artists to give us an exclusive behind the scenes look at the making of their work and to open up their process as they bring new original art to life. The Open Art Studio series offers a rare glimpse into how art is made and is dedicated to art lovers, artists and aspiring artists alike. Jo, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. You're Maltese, and uh, I know that you live in Malta now, but you've also lived abroad for many years. Yeah. Your work is currently very much inspired by the natural surroundings in Malta. Tell us about your art. Yes, it is inspired by natural surroundings and also by colour. I love colour. I work in a textured style, a fluid style, semi-abstract, abstract, but the predominance and the focus is always on colour for me. So we're here to get a look behind the scenes at what you do. What are you going to be showing us today? I'm going to show you a fluid art technique using acrylics on canvas board. So tell us about your materials. I'm using acrylics and uh, I'm, I thinned some of them out with, uh, well, I thinned all of them out with pouring medium and water to be able to get the consistency that I need for them to flow better on the canvas. Okay, and tell us about your choice of paints here. Today I'm using Amsterdam paints. I like Amsterdam and I have used them a lot. They have a really nice choice of colours, lots of choices, really nice array. And uh, if it saves me mixing up my own colour, it's a win for me. Mm -hmm. So talk us through what you're going to be demonstrating. I'm going to lay down a, a, a coat of one colour, that's the base paint, and then I'm going to add different colours to create the composition. Following that, I'll be blowing the, the paint out with a hairdryer with my mouth if I need to, just to give the paint a push so that then it will flow naturally and take on a life of its own. Okay, we'll let you get started. Actually, the colour wheel is a good place to start because you can't use colours that don't belong together on a colour wheel because if you use, for example, red and yellow and you want to keep red and yellow separate, then it's not a good idea to lay them next to each other because then you're going to get orange. So if you don't want orange on there, you just have to somehow keep them separate. Same thing with blue and yellow to make green. So, And also all the colours that would make a brown, you want to keep away from those because then uh, they're going to create a muddy look. So it's, see, all these colours are very, very complementary, and I was very careful in laying them so that they're not too close to each other, or well, some of them anyway, because then I would end up getting a sort of messy, messy grey, which I didn't want. I really wanted this to be the negative space, which is the base, and then just have a sort of flowy burst of colour on the top.
Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm just fixing the composition a little bit. If there's something I don't happy with, if there's something, I just very often use my finger and it releases some of the paint, takes off some of the one I don't, bits I don't like. So doing this, I raise bubbles on the surface. So that's why I use a blow to torch to pop any bud bubbles that may be rising to the top. And if they dry, they're gonna show. If you have a bubble, what'll happen is it'll break open and it'll leave a crater. So when it dries, you're gonna have a hole. So this is, this is the time to add more paint or take off paint or just play around with the composition. So then once I'm happy with it, I can just stop. Sometimes it's good to stop before, not after, because the artist can go too far. I think that's about it. Because sometimes as it's drying, it might change a little bit. Yeah, so normally now I would just wait for it to dry. And then if I feel I need to adjust the, the composition or adjust anything else or add a bit more color that sort of has drowned a little bit, then I would uh, go in there with a paintbrush and just finish it off like I did with that one. So I just want to torch it one last time. Okay, so now I think I'm going to stop at this point and just wait for it to dry. The series is brought to you by Allura. Allura works with leading local artists to showcase outstanding art and to show you what goes into making it. For original paintings by some of Malta's most sought after artists, visit the Allura Art Collection at www.alluraart.com.